Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Today we remember Tikhon, patriarch of Russia, confessor and ecumenist. Vasily Ivanovich Belevin, Tikhon's given name, was born January 19, 1865. He grew up in a rural area among peasants in a village where his father was a priest of the Russian Orthodox Church. Even as a child, he loved religion and by age 13 began his seminary training, where his classmates nicknamed him Patriarch. At 23, he graduated as a layman and began to teach moral theology. Three years later, he became a monk and was given the name Tikhon. By 1897, he was ordained Bishop of Lublin and in 1898 became Archbishop of the Aleutians and Alaska, the leader of Slavic Orthodoxy in North America. Tikhon was held in such esteem that the United States made him an honorary citizen. While in this country he established many new cathedrals and churches and participated in ecumenical events with other denominations, in particular the Episcopal Church. In 1900, at the ordination of Bishop Reginald Weller as co-adjutor of the Diocese of Fond du Lac, the diocesan Bishop Grafton invited Tikhon to sit on his own cathedral. The Archbishop would have participated in the laying on of hands if the Episcopal House of Bishops had not forbidden it. Tikhon later established warm relations with the Diocese of California. In 1907, Tikhon returned to Russia and a decade later was elected Patriarch of Moscow. The outbreak of the Russian Revolution threw the church into disarray when a severe famine caused many peasants to starve in 1921, the Patriarch ordered the sale of many church treasures to purchase food for the hungry. Soon the government began seizing church property for itself and many believers were killed in defense of their faith. The communist tried to wrest control of the church from Tikhon while he, in turn, attempted to shelter his people. To this end, he discouraged the clergy from making political statements that might antagonize the government. He prayed, May God teach every one of us to strive for his truth and for the good of the Holy Church, rather than something for our sake. Imprisoned by the Soviets for more than a year, he was criticized both by the Communist Party and by those Orthodox bishops who believed he had compromised too much with the government. On April 7, 1925, he died, worn out by his struggles. In 1989, the Council of Bishops of the Russian Orthodox Church glorified Patriarch Tikhon, numbering him among the saints of the Church. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, who has called us together into one communion and fellowship, open our eyes, we pray, as you opened the eyes of your servant Tikhon, that we may see the faithfulness of others, as we strive to be steadfast in the faith delivered to us, that the world may see and know you through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit 
be glory and praise to the ages of ages. Amen.